Alright, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com to do with another exciting episode for you. Today I'll be showing you guys what I'm buying at the Los Angeles Wholesale Produce Market here. Um, I already got one thing, so I'm going to show you guys. But basically, I'd just like to show you guys that, hey, there's a way to eat affordably, eat organic here in Southern California, right? Come down to the local produce terminal near you. I go to LA, like, try to go here once a month. I haven't been coming as much as I'd like to. But you could really stock up and save on buying your organic produce to make your diet more affordable, right? I seriously just got a case of strawberries for five bucks. That's eight little cartons eight pounds how much was that five dollars you guys will see them in a minute right they have all kinds of crazy deals you could come down here with a hundred dollars and literally eat like a king i only select for the organic items for the most part although you know if you just eat conventional which is still better than anything in the grocery store which is a lot easier to find here because everywhere there's non-organic produce you guys could eat for super cheap load up stock up i encourage you guys to come out the people here don't bite so don't be scared of coming out here but what you do need to do is you need to you need to bring a wad of cash. So I got like a wad of cash here. <laughs> and you need to cut, get down here early. So right now it's uh, literally 6 a.m. So that's like the you know the best time to come. Six, don't come too late. You could come maybe a little bit early if you want. But I got like to get down here at six and walk these different areas of the wholesale produce uh, terminal and areas. So the first one we went to is like next to TNT Produce on McGarry Street. The next one is the new terminal, the Los Angeles Wholesale Produce Market. And we're going to be walking through there right now. Um, that's a bit more intimidating like than the place here. But we'll maybe take you along for a little bit of a ride and show you guys what I'm buying this time. For the deal, we got basically two cases of organic strawberries, California grown, for 10 bucks. Amazing deal. I'll probably be drying a lot of these and freezing them for later. All right, just scored the deal. Check it out, guys. I got five cases of Randy Tans. Each case is five pounds. Guess how much? I mean, some of you guys can't even find Ramy Tans. Five cases of Ramy Tans, not irradiated. That's very important. Like, I don't like irradiated stuff. You can open this up. Ramy Tans, they're small, they're number twos. One dollar a pound. So, five cases worth 25 bucks. A deal you're not going to find in these grocery stores. All right, I want to give you guys some updates. Just went to Maui Fresh Produce, and there's a few sellers like Tito's, Maui Fresh and Guillermo that now sell organic here at the terminal. When I made the video many years ago, they weren't selling organic, so I'm glad organics is, you know, getting better distribution these days. And check out what we got. We got organic celery, 36 counts. So that's like 36 little celeries like this. 36 of these guys, and this guy's probably like a pound and a half. This whole case is like 50 pounds. Check it out, 50 pounds of celery, how much? And I, go, I know you, a lot of you guys are on medical medium. Um, which I will not confirm or deny what I believe about that. But what I'll say is that the celery, it this sick organic one head. It was $18 for 36 heads. I'm going to split it with my friends. So that's totally amazing. That's why you need to come out. Wholesale produce terminal. Now I'm going to show you guys actually how I'm going to travel with some of this stuff to keep it cold, keep it fresh, right? I got these bags. These are like, like delivery bags for like, you know, people doing Uber and stuff or what Uber Eats. You know, they're basically insulated, so they got the reflective material. So they basically take one of these bags, and they're nice and square, so I can stack them. They're not like, you know, the thin, tall bags. They're, like, square. I really love these bags. And then I just take cases, and, like, you could put the whole case in there. But in this case, the rainy tan's really not going to get messed up if I take it out of the box. So I just basically take this whole thing out and just put it in here. So I'll stack all my rainy tans in these so they kind of stay a little bit colder during my drive back and I'll just ditch the boxes here. All right, so next up, I'm gonna get some of these guys. They're like, Sean, you're eating beans? No, these are fruit, actually. These are called uh, Inca beans or ice cream beans. So basically, if you open these up, let me show you guys what it looks like on the inside. They got one open here. So you basically open up these beans and on the inside, there's this pod, right? You take out this pod and this pod is like cotton candy and you spit out the seed. So basically, you spit out the seed you eat all this fluffy stuff, which is like sweet and insane, and so good. I mean, you toss out most of the most of this outside shell, and so I'm getting a bunch of these right here. Like, this is eight dollars worth, <laughs> like four of them. So it's like two dollars each. And so I, how I picked them is I got the really ones that are like heavy for their size, because if they're flat on the inside, like this is flat, there's like no beans in there. So I really got nice, nice fat ones, heavy for their size. 
So I'm going to enjoy some ice cream. Yeah, I never saw this before at the produce terminal. And I want to encourage you guys to diversify your diet, even if you eat not out a lot of you know stuff you've never seen before. But get it in you for new taste sensations, flavor sensations, and nutrients and fibers. All right, we're at Hikari Produce here at the old terminal, and they got like bananas. And I saw these uh, baby bananas, 15 pound case. And look at that. When you look inside there, they like look pretty ripe, right? So then I opened one up. Look at that. This is ideal ripeness. I really love the color of these guys. I mean, look at that. Nice and like orange yellow spotted just perfectly. These ones are not as nice, but in general, these guys are really ripe. The problem with these baby bananas is when they get on the display, they get like bruised really easily. So when they're packed up like this, just perfectly ripened, they are so good. I'd actually rather eat baby non-organic bananas than organic large Cavendishes because these like taste way better. And a lot of these will get dried. Or, you, or frozen actually so these are way better to make in banana ice cream nice cream like for smoothies because they just have a much better flavor than the standard premium bananas which are actually right next door and guess how much these are right i made you guys want these right five bucks for 15 pounds what's that 33 cents a pound for baby ripe bananas perfectly ripened oh my gosh this place is incredible all right check it out just got uh like Organic blackberries. They sell these at like Costco. What do they sell for at Costco? Like I don't know, seven or eight bucks a piece. Yeah. Yeah, for one, for one, right? It's like 18 ounces for one, and there's like four of these, so it's like over eight pounds. Ten bucks, guys. Now I'm not gonna say these like these are not gonna last. Like you gotta use these within a few days. But blackberries are really rich in anthocyanins, so I'm probably gonna just end up juicing these maybe with some apples and jicama. To get them in me and I'm, I'm gonna be able to use them faster you could if you could take them home you could freeze them and then use them for smoothies later yeah. you gotta use these guys quick because when you get them for cheaper that's why they're cheaper because you gotta use them quick or they're gonna be bad there's no mold that I saw in any of these so they're like actually pretty good all right got one of my favorite fruits here we got a case of cactus fruits look at these these are like super ripe super nice color 38 pounds for 20 bucks so it's around 50 cents a pound these get juiced these are super high in like anthocyanins. They're one of the healthiest fruits you guys should eat. I'll put a link down below to the video I made on cactus fruits. I encourage you guys to eat more of them. All right, so we got another case of cactus fruits here. This time we got the green ones. I like the green ones because generally they're sweeter than the red ones. And then I, the red ones are more nutritious. So I kind of mix one one to one with one of the jicama when I juice them. Oh yeah, and this was uh, 18 bucks for a case. It's like 38 pounds. All right, check out what I found. <laughs> we got some jicama. And this is like fresh jicama from California. Most jicama is imported from Mexico. I mean, I'll eat imported Mexico jicama, but the California one I like because it's still green. It's a lot more tender, and I'm hoping that it will be sweeter. Uh, this case is about uh, 45 pounds. I think it's like 38 bucks. It's not organic. Uh, they do have organic jicama imported from Mexico. It's usually well over a dollar. I get the cheapest Mexican jicama usually for like two pounds for a buck normally. Um, so 50 cents a pound, but this is like a little bit more than that for California grown and not for me personally I trust California grown stuff a lot more than Mexico uh, This will get I could like cut this up into fries and just eat it because it's really rich in uh, inulin prebiotic fibers Also, I juice most of this stuff will get juiced. It adds like a nice neutral flavor to the juice Maybe a tad bit sweet from the inulin and I'll be mixing this actually with my cactus fruits when I juice them So I'll let you have cactus fruits half pick them up to you know balance out the um, you know the cactus fruit to like add more liquid content, so I'm not drinking like straight fruit juice. Excellent. Yeah, these are looking really good. I'm not seeing any kind of like fungus or mold damage or nothing. Really fresh. All right, next up we got uh, three cases of hot house grown um, orange bell peppers, and uh, these three cases are 33 pounds, and it was 30 bucks, so it's under a dollar a pound. Bell peppers take a lot more time to grow than tomatoes. And also, in general, I just, I, I mean, I like peppers more than tomatoes, and they're more nutrient-dense, but they have a lot of airspace. So I normally end up juicing these, and this is the base of my soup that I make, you know, every few weeks. I can also add these to other juices, too, like jicama, pineapple, bell pepper juice sounds good to me right now. All right, so besides buying wholesale produce that we got loaded up in the truck there, I also like to get wholesale plants because uh, plants are a better investment uh, for your dollar than actually buying finished produce so you guys can see today i got a flat 36 plants of broccoli that you could eat the leaves just like collards or kale and then it'll obviously have the little broccoli flowers that taste a lot more tender and delicious sweeter than store-bought 
I'm also growing a special lettuce. This is the Lola Rosa lettuce, so it's nice and red. Uh, red lettuce a lot more uh, anthocyanin and antioxidant rich than the green lettuces. We also got some uh, chili uh, floor or pepper floor mushroom chilies. These have a really cool like UFO style shape if you guys could see that there on the camera. And they really have a nice sweet flavor. They're quite delicious. One of my favorites. And then you know when you grow your own food you could you could grow more varieties than money could buy. So I'm like Buying these guys, which are one of my favorite leafy greens to eat. They're a summer plant. This is actually called the Popolo. And this is like the Mexican cilantro. Before there was cilantro introduced into Mexico, they'd use this for guacamole. It's more hardcore flavor. Love it a lot. And the last thing I really want to talk to you guys about before I close out for this episode is, I, you know, I know a lot of you guys are eating your fruits and vegetables and buying them all the time, which is great. You know, hey, they're the healthiest foods on the planet. But if you guys want to take your diet to the next level and make it even healthier I would encourage you guys to grow your own because it also makes more dollars and cents how does it make more dollars and cents do you say well let me show you guys so say you guys bought one head of organic kale yeah this kale looks amazing it's red kale you could grow this in your garden surely you know one one bunch of kale with like one two three four five six I don't know seven leaves Seven leaves of kale, what, cost you $2, maybe $3 organic, maybe $4 if you live in Florida. But check this out, man. For the same price of one head of kale, you guys could get basically six kale plant starts. You know, the nursery didn't have the red ones today, but they do sometimes. And then if you got the plant starts, right, look at this. There's more than six leaves on here, what you're saying. Wait a second, John, those leaves are small. They're not as big as these leaves, right? Well, that's the thing. You plant this in the ground, these leaves will get bigger as this. And over the life of the plant, which this plant will grow like easily half a year, you plant it in the right season, and you'll have like, I even know, 60 times the amount of food of kale for the same price that you just harvest one leaf at a time. If you have six plants, you can harvest one leaf off each one as they grow bigger, so you're not like harvesting all the leaves. It'll grow for a long period of time. And you basically invest in the same amount of money, and what do you get instead? You get higher higher quality leaves that don't taste quite as bitter, that haven't been stored as long, that you could add amendments to the soil that are more vibrant and have higher bio photons in there. I mean, guys, seriously, start a garden. This is why I'm so passionate about teaching gardening. It makes more dollars and cents, it's more nutritious, it's healthier for the planet, because now trucks don't have to truck this stuff across the United States. I mean, this is grown in California. We're in California now, but a lot of you guys don't live in California that where it's as local as this, right? So yeah, grow your own food. You guys can grow your own food anywhere. So check out my other YouTube channel, Growing Your Greens. And you, I teach you guys how to grow your own food on that channel. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, round of what I bought at the produce terminal. This trip as well as the wholesale plants. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, learning about what I'm buying and eating and the crazy deals that you guys can get at the produce terminal and the nurseries that I go to, the CPG nursery here in Norwalk, California to buy the plants, to start your own garden. I hope I've encouraged you guys just a little bit in some way to eat more fruits and vegetables and maybe even grow them for extra credits. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, hey, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and more importantly for the YouTube algorithm, share this with other people so that they could learn about the power of the fruits and vegetables and get this video out to more people. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on new and upcoming episodes that come out every five to seven days. You never know where I'll share up or we'll be learning on my channel. Make sure you smash that bell so you get notified as many videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are our wealth of knowledge. over 600 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to teach you guys all about eating fruits and vegetables. I'll post a couple links down below in the video on how I've shopped the produce terminal in the past. And it's always basically the same, man. The produce terminal just makes dollars and cents to go to. If you live in LA or even the surrounding area, I mean, heck, I drive like, I, I drive four hours to get here just so I can load up on some good produce. And more importantly, besides cheap produce, produce that I could not find in my city. So with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. Until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.